Welcome back to another episode of Berkeley TV. My name is Lion. And Kento. We'll be looking at today, Lion. We'll be looking at Coach Mike, the basketball ASA. Hey guys, I'm Coach Mike, and I'm here to answer some questions about Berkeley basketball. In training, we work on conditioning. We do quite a bit of running. Berkeley players, basketball players, have to be fit, so we work on fast break drills, lots of layup drills, a bit of running activity, and then we play a lot of full court games. Our teams are, are pretty good. Um, we focus on defense, so I'm always pushing um, defensive drills, but improvement, we need to be better shooters. And being a good shooter doesn't take place overnight. You need to practice every day. You need to take about 100 shots every day, at least. Games, I've had a lot of questions about games. I'm confident that we'll be able to play by the end of the year. Got our fingers crossed. What my job is and what we're doing out here on the court is preparing our teams to be the best we can when those games um, do finally come. The basketball season usually goes for about three and a half months. It's been delayed a little bit here. We're going to play up until the Songkran holiday and see where it goes from there. Training usually lasts about an hour and a half. Um, we do about 30 minutes of drills, maybe 10, 15 minutes of conditioning, and the rest of the time we play full court, get prepared to play actual games. Elementary has been doing a checklist challenge. Recently they did the core craft challenge. Let's see how it went. Whoa, sounds fun. Let's get right into it. So the Core Craft Challenge was a challenge uh, in our February checklist challenge um, using our SDGs, our Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, these ones refer to Sustainable Development Goal 9, which is Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure, which is basically an engineering type challenge. So the students from K3 through Grade 5 were given a set of requirements um, and guidelines that they had to follow. Basically, they had to create a core craft made out of natural materials only. Uh, I think it was 20 centimetres by 15 centimetres. They had to, had, had to have a, a Lego man or a figurine that was attached to their raft, which then they put in the 50 metre pool and they had to pull around the entire perimeter of the 50 metre pool, so 130 metres. Some of them sunk, some of them floated. The ones that floated uh, were deemed successful. Uh, and that's pretty much the Cork Raft Challenge. like to give a shout out to Mel Bork in grade 7 for stepping in to help Garnet when one of the house leaders moved. And a shout out to Belle Bolin in grade 8 who has lost a partner but is still holding down for Garnet. Hi, my name is Jade Savage from grade 4R. I'm going to give a shout out to my mom, Tara Savage from K3 team. The reason why I am is because she's walking around school teaching K3 and taking care of three kids with a kidney stone. So thanks a lot, Mom. Bye! Wow, that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, anyway, that's all we have for today. Where the, the Berkeley, Berkeley Lions hear us roar! roar.